Hey everyone, and welcome to our question associated with the basics cutoff lecture. So as usual, I encourage you to pause the video, attempt the question on your own, and then watch the remainder of the video to see if you did it correctly. In this case, we have a public health expert who is trying to create an effective screening tool using a test where an increased value is a more extreme result. At the current cutoff of the test, the public health expert worries that they're missing lots of cases. How can the cutoff be changed to improve the screening ability? So I think this is a good question because it ties in some of the concepts from our testing characteristics lecture. So we remember when we are looking at a screening test, what we really want out of this test is to be able to rule out patients with the disease. And therefore, if we want to rule out patients with the disease, we want a low false negative result. We want to, if we get a negative result, we want to trust that they, have, they truly do not have the disease and we can truly rule them out. And we remember if we want to test with a low false negative um, result, that test would have a high sensitivity. And that's why high sensitivity tests are often good for ruling out disease and for screening campaigns. So in this case, where we know an increased value is more extreme, if we wanna increase the sensitivity of the test, if we want to decrease the rate of false negatives, then what we would want to do is decrease the cutoff. Because in this case, if we are decreasing the cutoff, we are making it easier to get a positive result. And we are making it harder to get a negative result. Therefore, we are going to increase false positives, which will lead to a lower specificity and a lower PPV, remembering the Ps run with one another, and we will get decreased false negatives, which will lead to a resulting increase in sensitivity, which is what we are looking for, and an increase in NPV. And just as a reminder from the lecture, we're always thinking about how extreme the cutoff is. And in this case, we want to make the cutoff less extreme such that it is harder to get a negative result, such that we can be more confident that the results that we get that are negative are patients who truly do not have the disease. Um, and therefore, in this case, a lower cutoff is going to capture more patients and lead to a more sensitive test. If you have trouble with this question, I recommend watching the cutoffs, the basics lecture, um, because that goes into more so about how changing the extremeness of the cutoff impacts testing characteristics. As always, Thank you, good luck, and please like, comment, and subscribe.